In this part of the chapter, we shall learn how to sketch the graphs of power functions. Now let us start off with quadratic curve where the power is 2. Do you remember how to sketch this quadratic curve here with a negative coefficient? Yes, it will look like a N shape. For example, negative 2x squared. How do you draw this quadratic curve here with positive coefficient of x squared? Yes, it will look like a U shape. For example, y equals to positive 2x squared. Now, another way to remember is when the coefficient of the x squared is negative, we will have a z face. And when the coefficient of x squared is positive, we will have a smiley face, like this. Now, let us look at how to sketch the graph of cubic function. When the coefficient of x cubed is negative, it will look like this. For example, y equals to negative 2x cubed. And if the coefficient of x cubed is positive, it will look like this. For example, y equals to positive 2x cubed. Now, how do we remember this? Now, just substitute in any negative value of x here, and you will learn that the y value will be positive, and hence it will lie in this region. Now, substituting any positive x value here, you will learn that the y value will be negative, and hence it will lie in this region. When x is positive, y is negative. However, you do need to remember the general shape. This method here will only help you to remember whether it's slanting this way or the other way. Similarly, to sketch this, we will let x to be negative, and we will learn that the value of y will be negative as well, and hence it will lie in this region. When x is positive, the value of y will always be positive, and hence it will lie in this region. And therefore, the curve will slope this way. Let's look at another type of cubic function here. For example, y equals to x cubed plus 3x squared minus 5x minus 9. After plotting, you will learn that the curve will look like this. Just remember, a cubic curve will always be made up of smiley faces and set faces. In this case, it will be a set face followed by a smiley face. Now, how do you think the next cubic curve will look like? After plotting, it will look like this. We have a smiley face followed by a set face. Now, a cubic curve will always have two turning points. One, two. Next, we shall look at power functions with power of negative one. Similarly, we will have a negative coefficient and a positive coefficient. From the law of indices, we know that x to the power of negative 1 is the same as 1 over x, and hence the equation of the curve will look like this. When the value of a here is negative, the curve will look like this. When the value of a here is positive, the curve will look like this. For example, for this curve here, it will be y equals to negative 2 over x, and for this curve here, it will be y equals to 2 over x. Again, how do we remember this? Substituting a negative x value here will give us a positive y and hence we will have this region. Substituting a positive x value here will give us a negative y and hence we will have this region here. Likewise, we can do that for y equals to 2 over x and we will have these two regions. Similarly, it is important and necessary for you to remember the general shape of these two curves here. One thing to note is that the curves do not touch the x or y axis. It will approach the y axis and the x axis, but it will never touch it. Next, we shall look at power functions with power of negative 2. We can rewrite this as y equals to a over x squared. When a is negative, the curve will look like this. When a is positive, the curve will look like this. For example, y equals to negative 2 over x squared and y equals to positive 2 over x squared. How do we remember this again? When x is negative or positive, the y value will always be negative, and hence it will lie in these two regions. 
When x is negative or positive, the y value here will always be positive, and hence it will lie in these two regions. That again is how we remember and differentiate between these two curves. You must be careful when sketching these two curves and make sure that the graphs do not touch the x or y axis. Now, how will such a graph look like? Now, after plotting the graph, it will look like this. Now, just remember, most of the curves here in this chapter will either look like a smiley face or a sad face, even though it may not be symmetrical. Now, because of this part of the function here, the curves will not touch the x-axis or the y-axis as well. In order to test whether you have remembered all the different power functions, let us do a simple quiz here. Do you know this equation belongs to which curve? Yes, it belongs to the quadratic function with a smiley face. What about this equation here? Yes, it belongs to this quadratic equation. Now, what about this equation here? When x is negative, y is positive. And when x is positive, y is negative. Therefore, it will either be this curve here or this curve here. Do you know which is which? Yes, it belongs to this curve. Therefore, it is still important to remember the general shape. Now, what about this equation here? Yes, it belongs to this cubic curve. And this? Yes, it will belong here. What about this equation? Yes, you notice that these two equations are actually the same. What about this? Uh, it belongs to this curve here. Next. Yes, this is another cubic function, and it belongs here. What about this? And this? Yes, it is the same as y equals to negative 2 over x squared. Now, this will be the same as y equals to 2 over x, and hence it will belong here. Finally, we have y equals to 2 over x squared, and it will belong here. Now, in summary, substituting a positive x value and negative value will tell you which region it belongs to. However, you will still need to remember all the general shape of these curves here so that you can sketch them. Well, that's all for this chapter.